Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe down there and hit that bell so you guys miss any notifications on this channel. You guys can see behind me, I got this 2021 Dodge Charger Scat Pack 392. Right now I'm at Affinity uh, Autos in um, Roselle, Illinois. Uh, yeah, shout out to the, um, one of the employees here for letting me do a review on this thing. This thing's super duper clean, 2021, OEM black all around. Uh, he hasn't done a lot, a lot to it yet but he did a mid muffler delete and he also has uh, some exhaust tips on there too as well. I'll link everything in description of exactly what he has, all of his social media in description. I shout out to him for letting me let me do a review on this uh, 2021 Scat Pack. This thing's beautiful. But let's do a full walk around on this thing and then we'll get into the interior. See right there, you got the 392, the Hemi badge is on there too. Look at the front grill. You got the nice uh, Scat Pack logo right there. Beautiful, beautiful grill. Nice fresh LEDs on there. Nice massive grill with the nose right there too. And taking a look right here, 20 inch wheels. Nice fat Brembo's along here. SRT powered, massive, massive tires. You can sound on idle, it sounds really good here. Sounds really good on idle. Um, he also is in a car group too. I'll link that down in the description. Uh, he is based in Chicago, Illinois. So I'll list all that stuff in the description so you guys can check that out. Hit him up on social media, Snapchat, whatever. Goes to a couple car meets and stuff like that. So I'll list it all there. But yeah, getting into the inside of this car, nice fabric. You got the leather right here, of course. You got your, your couple in there. You got your storage in there, of course. You got the nice handle there. Uh, then you also have controls for the windows, unlock, lock, all that. Then your controls for both uh, mirrors on both sides. This thing's nice. Take a look in here. Here, I like the fabric a lot, to be honest. And they also have the Scat Pack logo. Take a look in here. Hey, you guys, it's a leg room. So leg room on this thing is pretty good. You got the gas pedal right there, brake, and you got the dead pedal, and then you have the emergency brake there, of course. Then you have uh, controls right here for your lighting. You put on auto, or you can put on manual mode as well. Then you also have the trunk. Push that, the trunk opens up. Also has a lot of good storage in the trunk. Has uh, always a spare in the back. If you guys are familiar with Dodge Chargers and stuff like that, pretty good on storage. And uh, this is the four door too, so plenty, plenty of room in this thing, which is nice. Look in here, you got speedometer right here, RPMs, you got your speed gauge right there too, and then you also have your temperatures, and then you have your gas too as well. And then it also shows what gear you're in. It's park, reverse, neutral, drive. As you can see, park, reverse, neutral, drive, and then you also can put in manual mode as well, just shifting to the left. And then you also have you know a push and start to turn it on. And then yeah, this thing's really nice. Paddle shifters right here, both sides. Nice little Dodge logo right here. You have media controls right here. Then you also have uh, cruise control settings. Radio right here, of That's course. What you guys can see right here. Heated seats, you got your you know, apps, phone, settings, stuff like that. You need climate, all those good stuff. But yeah, this thing's, this thing's nice, man. I like it. And uh, you, know, you get your vents and across there. Beautiful dash going across here and uh, climate control settings right here. Then you also hazards and radio controls. Then 12 volts down there, more storage in there. And then two cup holders along here. Center console space in here. Lighting up here, put your glasses in there. And then you have uh, lighting here, visors both sides. Taking a look at the back. A lot of storage back here. Panel, pretty much the same for center console. You have two USB slots in there too. So good for road trips or whatever. You guys can see this thing's really really nice we'll pop the hood here most exciting part pop that hood opens up so this is a 6.4 liter uh, v8 it's nice you have all your components in here you got your intake everything's accessible on this vehicle uh yeah pretty much everything in here is stock uh he has done too many crazy stuff yet but it's probably coming soon and then it's you know, powered by srt in there but yeah this thing's nice man big v8 6.4 liter gas wise takes premium and yeah look at the brembos nice red brembos on the black oem paint pops out real nice but yeah we got the little uh wing right here too oem but yeah it's a nice vehicle you know stock wise this thing does pull a lot on the road uh you know it's over 400 um to the engine it's like 4 485 to the engine all right, give you guys another look all the way around. You guys can hear it on idle, it sounds good. Just with the resonator delete, you can really hear it. Real good vehicle. Oh, as always, LEDs in there too. 
All right, guys, as always, we're gonna take this thing on a test drive, see how it performs on the road. I'm excited to see how it's gonna perform, uh, especially with the resonator delete. I don't know if you checked out other videos on my channel. I did a 2019 SCAT that had uh, uh, the CAT delete. Now, this is my first time driving in one that has a uh, resonator delete and still has the mufflers in the, in the CATs uh, intact. So let's see how it sounds on this road. I'm excited. So for setting wise, I'll show you guys some of the settings, but um, as far as right now, we're going to, so the sport mode's on. All right, so let's hit the road. So I'll show you guys the shifter, you know, just pull it and we're in gear. Traction control is off. Now let's hit the road. Resonator delete, so you guys know. So it is in sport mode right now. I have do have paddle shifters on too, so I can have control of the paddle shifters as well. And we're off. to the cat delete um, it's not as loud but with the resonator I feel like it's a little more controlled I definitely can hear it in here a lot but other than that man it sounds sounds good uh, personally and then especially with using the shifters and everything it's not extremely loud as the as the cat back just with this resonator delete man it sounds good control I like it and just with it being a V8 alone it's loud all right let's go below what you guys think about this vehicle um do you guys like chargers do you like uh scat packs rts uh hellcats just let me know what you guys think below and as always make sure you guys subscribe
here and then in, the, in here as well, but other than that, man, this thing sounds good. Alright guys, you guys can hear that, man. This car sounds good. I like it a lot. Uh, we're super responsive on the road, and uh, like I said, you know, paddle shifters and everything, it was... It was good, um, you know, and especially the resonator is a lot, I mean, a lot different. I mean, it's not gonna be as loud as the, the one that I drove before, and you also can watch that on watch that video on my uh, channel as well uh, at the catback. But man, the resonator sounds good. I like it. Uh, you know, it's not crazy, crazy loud, but it's, uh, you know, it's more of like a peaceful loud, but it still sounds good. Uh, the VA pretty much does all the work for the, the loud. But yeah, you guys can hear it, man. This thing's nice, man. So again, I appreciate the guy that let me do a review on this thing, uh, as always. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys check out Affinity Autos. Uh, real cool guys over here, you know. Um, a lot of good inventory, check them out. They got a lot of good, good cars here. And uh, yeah, I uh, appreciate, appreciate the guy that let me do a review on this. I'll link all his information down below so you guys can check them out. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And I got a lot more content coming for you guys, so make sure you guys are subscribed. And uh, other than that, I'm out.